Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric, and today's tutorial will be on a Dell Inspiron 1420 laptop computer. With your attention, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to identify how and where to identify where the hard drive is located on this computer and um, how to replace and remove the hard drive or upgrade. So, let's begin. Um, again, this is a Dell Inspiron 1420 laptop computer. The first thing you do before working on any laptop computer is you want to make sure that there's no uh, power going to the system. So you want to make sure that, of course, the plug's not plugged into it, but also that the computer is, in fact, missing the battery. So you want to unplug the battery from it, remove it from the compartment. In this case, I've already drained the power from this system. I've already removed. Um, it's not plugged in. The battery is missing, and I've already held down the power button for 10 to 15 seconds just to make sure that there's no um, juice left in the computer. So once you've drained the system from any power, we can begin our repairs. Now, in this computer, I we need to find out where the hard drive is located. Now, on most, on the bottom of every laptop, on most of them, it'll actually show you where the drive's located. It'll show you where most important components are located in the system. And in this one, um, fair enough, it, it actually does show us, and it's right here. I'm going to try and show you guys without revealing the sticker here. But on the drive, you will actually see that there's two little symbols here. And those symbols are, in this case, um, to show you that there's a hard drive underneath this plate. So in order to remove, replace, and or upgrade the actual drive, you're going to have to remove these two screws to get to the drive. So you can use a standard Phillips screwdriver or a fancy electric. If you're not used to using the electrics, you can just use a standard screwdriver. It doesn't matter. As long as the screw fits, you'll be able to unscrew the screws and find your hard drive. So again, you have one and two screws. You should be able to pop it on, off, but if it does not, you can use a pry tool. This is my favorite. It's by iSesimo. They're about 10 bucks, and un honestly, one of my favorite repair tools I've ever purchased. So find a crevice, pop it up, and it should come off just like so. So here is our hard drive. Um, here's where it's located. You can see that it's in an, in an enclosure, and we want to remove the drive from the system. So there's a little tab right here on the hard drive. That tab is what we're going to use as leverage to pull up. I'm sorry, pull out words. So this one is actually using a little adapter here. So it sits kind of um, on one of these uh, adapters for the hard drive, but it's a SATA drive. But all I had to do was pull a little bit out, just a little bit, and upward. So using the tab, all I do is pull it like this, and it should just pop right up. Once the drive pops up from the system, here you can actually take off the adapter, which is right here on the end, by pulling it out. Here's the adapter, here's the drive. Again, it's a SATA drive. You can use any hard drive, doesn't matter on the make or model as long as it's a SATA drive and um, you know the capacity that you want you can essentially install any drive that you want on here so you say for instance the computer came with a 250 well you can give it 500 or 750 or even one terabyte doesn't matter you can upgrade to whatever you your budget fits so order your new drive you're gonna take the drive out of this enclosure and the way you're gonna do that is with these couple screws here you have one screw there and one screw there. So you're going to unscrew. Oh, sorry to take it off camera there, but I had to get some, put some strength into removing the actual screw. It was kind of stuck in there. Coming from the factory, these things are just closed shut. So you want to unscrew the screw. There you have it. The drive should just come right out of the enclosure. If it does not, it's being stubborn. You might have to give it a little nudge, but once it does, I'm just peeling it out basically of the enclosure. So, here's the drive, here's the enclosure, pops right out. This is what you're actually replacing right here. So, once you get your new hard drive in, you're going to place it back in the enclosure. 
you're going to screw both these two screws we took off earlier back in to securely place the hard drive back in the enclosure. This time you probably don't want to put them too tight because it won't be so difficult to put them back in or remove them. Then you want to add your adapter back on the hard drive and it should just slide right in. Very simple. Just line up the notches. Drive back in the enclosure, the adapter is back secured on the hard drive, and we're going to place the drive back in the system, just sliding it back into place. How simple is that? So if you have a bad drive, you can replace and or upgrade the drive by simply following this tutorial. Remember, um, your data is all stored on the hard drive, so if you're replacing it and or upgrading the drive, you want to make sure that you're going to have to reinstall the operating system. So if you have a reload disk that came with the computer, you can simply pop that in the optical drive and begin the installation of the drive. Uh, you might want to have to boot to the disk itself, so you'll have to tap F12 to boot into the disk. It'll show you a list of boot options, select the optical drive, then boot to whatever operating system you're going to install in the system. Uh, remember from that point you're still going to have to install drivers if they don't automatically load depending on the operating system you install. And If you have any questions just ask us we'll be more than happy to help you out. So in this tutorial we've successfully identified where the hard drive is located on this computer. It's a Dell Inspiron 1420 laptop computer. I've shown you guys where the hard drive is located and in fact it's right here underneath this bottom plate just two screws away and a very easy upgrade for anybody that wants to. Um, enhance the drive capacity of the system or get just more storage space out of the computer. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. Come say hi to us on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. And follow us on Twitter. Uh, it's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. We also have a blog. We want to get some attention on there. If you guys have any questions, you can always check out our blog first. We have a um, some tutorials, tips, tricks that we post online every so often. That URL is www.itconflict.com forward slash blog. Uh, we sincerely appreciate your guys' support. Please like our page. Um, subscribe to our channel. Again, we really appreciate it. We enjoy making these videos for you all, and we're going to keep on bringing them as much as we can. Uh, my name is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks again for watching.